Hey guys, Alex here with this Cobb house. I'm out here at the property and I'm finally making progress on the water line. So I finished digging it last week and in total it's about 400, um, 400 linear feet. So I had to dig about 80% of that by hand. That's why it took so long. But I'm finally starting to lay the pipe. Um, I put in about 150 feet yesterday I couldn't film any of it yesterday because I was under such a time crunch. Um, the days are still short and the rain came in yesterday so I actually laid all the pipe and um, turned it on and it was good and then after a couple minutes I had one of the pipes um, separate at a certain point where I thought I had an issue um, so I know what the problem was and I seem to have remedied it this time. Um, so I was up late last night working in the rain and the mud and the dark trying to get it back together and um, this morning I turned the water back on from the water main and um, it's been on for about an hour or more so far no problems so I'm hoping I won't have an issue because um, I have such a tight time crunch here where the weather is not um, freezing or below freezing so I'm trying to get all this done and reburied by the time it gets cold again on, I think, Friday. So um, I'm going to go take some video out in the field now, and I'll show you what I did. So here's what's done so far. About 150 feet PVC pipe going up to my first hydrant. And then eventually I'll take this all the way up the hill, put another hydrant. So this is just the start. But I got this Woodford Hydrant. These are really nice, good quality. You can adjust the water pressure with this little dial. So I have it on really low right now. Because my PSI is really high. Because apparently we've got a water tower somewhere around here on the top of a mountain. So it takes a second on this low setting. I mean otherwise it just blasts out. So I've got it low right now. Anyway, um, let me be careful here, it's so muddy. I've got like 10 pounds of mud on my boots. So I'm gonna have to uh, make a cut there on the end and then attach more PVC. I wish I had made that little, that end cap piece stick out a little more from that t-joint but uh, one way or another it'll work I just hope I don't have to redo any of this again I had to redo this whole section here last night in the dark in the rain so um, yeah this is one and a half inch PVC pipe all the way down to the water main the water main is actually a three-quarter inch. So, um, yeah, let me just check this again. This is where my pipe separated last night. So what happened was, it was really tight in here and things weren't aligned very well. And I couldn't get both of these pieces uh, fully pushed together. And I couldn't, like, um, twist the pipes together so uh, they were just really weak really weak bond but uh, I guess I got that fixed so as so we come down to the end here at the water main yeah it's just such a mess out here all this mud it was good yesterday and then it started raining like six o'clock it's been raining all night all right here we go so here's the water main that the, the company installed and this is a three-quarter inch PEX pipe and I hooked it up to a three-quarter inch PVC pipe my connection 
it's hard to see, but it's slightly crooked. That was bugging me. Um, I used um, pipe tape and pipe glue on the threads. Apparently the plastic has a hard time threading into the brass sometimes because the brass threads are a little, maybe a little different or something. But I need to keep an eye on this connection here. So far it's good. I think um, I'm going to tape it up, some duct tape that was recommended to me just to reinforce it a little bit in case there's any movement or shifting. I don't want any breaks here. But then up here I make the conversion to one and a half inch. It was hard to find this conversion piece. I got it online and then it goes one and a half inch PVC all the rest of the way up. So just to show you guys how much pressure we got here, I turned the dial all the way up. So let's try it out. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this is day three out here working on the water line. It's all operational and I just covered the hole. So it's buried again, at least 90%. I still need to add the topsoil back on the top, but it should be safe to leave it uh, through the nights because it's gonna get back down to freezing tonight. Um, but I feel pretty confident that it's gonna be good. It's got quite a bit of soil on it. It's loose, I haven't packed it down. That might actually give it some more insulation. All those little air pockets in there. So uh, anyway, I'm really worn out here today. I had to fill in the entire 150 feet. So I'm gonna try to wrap it up here today and then uh, continue this maybe in the next day or two. So as you can see, we passed the water freeze test. That's a big relief. Um, so I had like two, two and a half days to do this project. And I managed to get it in before this freeze came back in. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna try to do that again though. So the rest of this water line I'm gonna do probably in the spring or at least maybe in March. I wanna have at least like a whole week of warm weather and warm nights because this was crazy trying to get this done in this short little time period between cold temperatures. Um, but overall, it was a good project. I learned a lot. Um, I'll try to show you guys a little bit more detail on how I did the plumbing. I mean, it's not like anything special. You can just YouTube all this stuff, but maybe I'll show you um, some basic PVC plumbing in uh, one of my next videos pretty soon or when I do the next part of the water line uh, but yeah it's a tough project uh, there's three complete days of work just to do this uh, lay this this pipe honestly and that's not even including the digging so um, definitely a lot of work I can't imagine how much it would cost to hire someone to do this it would it's got to cost a lot. Um, so I did definitely save a lot of money installing this myself. Still got a lot of work to do, but I got this one done successfully, so I know I can do all the rest successfully with no problems. Um, I think I'm pretty confident with the way this is going to be. I'm just hoping this will last 100 years because I don't ever want to have to dig this up and redo this. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I think the next project, I'm going to start working on the garden and building some swales for permaculture, 
So I'll show you guys that next. So until then, take care.